Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. We live in a world surrounded by chemicals. Thousands of them are actually harmful contaminants. So to keep us safe, governments and private organizations need solid environmental testing from capable labs. To learn more about the latest types of testing available, we're joined by Dr. Mo Osman, founder and president of Summit Environmental Technologies. Welcome, Dr. Osman. Thank you, Jackie. Also joining us is Elvin Chavez, vice president of Summit Labs. Welcome to you too, Elvin. Thank you, Jackie, thank you for having us. Elvin, can you describe for us some of the most critical environmental situations where chemical testing is required? There are so many areas that require testing, and the one that I want to touch on is drinking water. We've discussed that um, drinking water isn't just a source that comes out of a faucet. There's a lot that goes into it before it comes out, unless you live in Alaska and you're taking it out of a fresh spring. <laughs> and even then, there's issues with, you know, what happened in Japan and right. that contamination spreading. However, a lot of the water that we Americans get comes from groundwater wells or surface water like lakes or rivers. And the majority of the American people don't realize that the wastewater that comes out of plants is treated and released to those rivers that end up in a lake. And then that water is pooled to put into a drinking water system for distribution to the public. And what people don't understand, and, and it's our job as a laboratory and a scientist to try to educate them, is to let them know that I've been guilty of it myself, to putting painkillers or medicine down the toilet, flush it away because you don't need it or it's expired, antibiotics. These plants cannot remove those pharmaceuticals. Hmm. And as such, when it gets put back into the surface or groundwater, it goes into this plant, and these plants are not yet capable or equipped to remove these pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. And so you open up your tap, they may be low levels in the parts per trillion or parts per billion level, but they're still there, and that's a concern. So And a cocktail of who knows what. It could, yeah. You just don't know because what, what I have in my medicine chest is probably different from what you have or from what Dr. Osman has. So Dr. Osman, tell us about Summit Environmental Technologies and who you are and what you do. We're a full service uh, testing laboratory uh, with headquarters in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Uh, and uh, two branches, one in Georgia and one in Albuquerque, New Mexico that Alvin Shab is uh, runs and a satellite office in El Paso, Texas. We're a full service lab. We test for common contaminants like heavy metals and volatiles and semi-volatiles. We also test for exotic chemicals hmm. that require high expertise and capital investment, like dioxins, furans, PCB congeners, and radioactivity. Hmm. Sounds like you must be busy. Let's visit the lab for a look in this 21st century business field report. There are literally thousands of harmful contaminants in our environment. If left untreated, these contaminants can cause sickness or even death. Testing facilities must have proper certifications, equipment, and highly trained people to guarantee precise, accurate testing and high quality, legally defensible data. Summit Environmental Technologies Incorporated is an environmental industry leader providing environmental, radiological, and microbiological analytical laboratory testing services for federal, state, and municipal government entities and private business worldwide. Summit Labs has helped our business most recently in the fact that we've created a partnership. There are times where I'm working with the regulators and there may be a parameter out there that I need help on. Summit Labs is able to uh, work through that data and at times tell us that that data won't work. I have been able to take that to the regulator and actually have that regulator understand that and eliminate that parameter from our operating permit. In the environmental industry, it is a necessity for laboratories to maintain national and international accreditations and certifications. Summit Environmental Laboratory maintains the DOD ELAP accreditation, short for Department of Defense Environmental Laboratory Accreditation Program. I've worked with a lot of different laboratories. I don't think any other laboratory would look 
at the partnership that we have between a lab and a client and actually put a position paper together to say you can't meet those regulatory limits and here's why. I think a lot of other laboratories would just put a non-detect value and not give a reason why. Summit Labs clearly understands that it's a partnership between a client in a laboratory, and at times when they go the extra mile, it really makes a difference. Dr. Osmond, first I'd like to ask, what brought you to the environmental industry? Jackie, let me tell you a, a story here. When I was a child, I read the book about the Cuyahoga River on fire. Huh. And uh, that incident, uh, as uh, sad as it was, uh, you know, made us think all about the environment. By the way, Cuyahoga River passes by our laboratory where our beautiful city, Cuyahoga Falls, uh, got its name from. Huh. That incident uh, spurred the environmental movement and paved the way toward the establishment of the Environmental Protection Agency and also the enactment of the Clean Water Act uh, back in 1972, which has been updated many times uh, since. Hmm. And uh, that's how I became interested in environmental issues, and uh, that was the inception of Summit Environmental Technologies. Wow. So now, working in the environmental laboratory industry, one of the most highly regulated industries in the world, really, what do you feel is Summit Lab's most important challenge? And I'd like to ask that to both of you. Well, believe it or not, and most people don't think about it this way, there are over 70,000 chemicals in the environment. 70,000? 70, and the list grows, not just this. Mm. The list, list grows by over 1,000 each year. Mm. Now, even the select few thousands that are regulated by the EPA require hundreds of methods, methods and the procedures to analyze. Make no mistake, it is, it is both costly and technically challenging to be able to address all those chemicals. So it is always a challenge as a laboratory and as management where to invest the resources, what equipment to buy, what methods you want to develop. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it really very challenging you know, to, 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 to know where the investment is going to right. come from, hiring and retaining the expertise, you know, putting the resources. You know, and, and like Elvin said, we get the pharmaceuticals that is, that is going to become a big challenge here. Oh, and the regulations are just they're so broad because Dr. Osman mentioned the Environmental Protection Agency. We are also regulated by, you've probably heard of OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, NIOSH, National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, ASTM, AOAC. There's a lot of organizations out there that, that actually regulate the lab business. Their methods, they have different procedures, they have different requirements. And it, it you know, it's a, it's a challenge for a lab to mm -hmm. stay on top of all that hmm. at all times. Hmm. But at the same time, you're also testing, t testing chemicals and elements to find out whether, you know, these things are in the environment per their regulations, right? You're following their regulations as well. Well, uh, you also don't want to chase, uh, chase a growing industry. You always want to try to foresee as a laboratory where business, where the areas of, of interest is going to be. And that's a challenge, you know, so you make best decisions and, and hope to pan out. Definitely. Now, Elvin, what does Summit Labs do to be able to handle the kind of analytical requirement that you need to have to be able to be at the cutting edge of this industry? Dr. Usman hit it pretty good on the previous question. You know, <clears throat> you have to actually take your business and reinvest it into the people, you know, and instrumentation because cutting edge technology and having educated quality people that are knowledgeable in what they do, that is the key to keeping this business moving forward and to keep those people in your, in your lab. You don't want a high turnover rate, you know, where people yeah. come and go every two years. Right. And Dr. Osman has proved that most of the employees here at Summit have been here for 10 years plus, hmm. you know, and that's a great attribute to the way he runs the business and the environment that they work in. So Dr. Osman, looking forward, what do you see as Summit Lab's most important challenge in the future? The future, it's uh, very important to know where we are going as we all want to have a cleaner environment. As a laboratory, we need to know where to invest our resources, hiring and retaining talent, as I said previously. Know where, knowing where the potential uh, uh, contaminants are going to come from. Always be ahead of the process and not chase a growing industry. It is how we can better se serve our people. 
uh, keep this environment safer for our children and grandchildren. It is where we leave our print as a laboratory for our for better tomorrow. Well, you've both clearly shown us how important environmental testing is right now and in the future. I'd like to thank you both for doing this important work and for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you, Jackie, for having us. Jackie, we appreciate the opportunity to, to be here with you all. And thank you for watching. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales.